Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I'm keeping the same colour scheme, so the card pieces you're going to need are a card base of Whisper White and this measures eight and a quarter inches by five and three quarters, scored and folded at four and one eighths and that's 21 centimetres by 14.5 centimetres scored and folded at 10.5. Then you need a smoky slate layer which is 4 inches by 5 and 5 eighths inches which is 10.25 by 14.25 centimetres and you need a piece of our white glimmer paper which measures approximately three and a half inches by four and it is important to make sure that your four inches is the same as those four inches. Um, what I've done is I've measured mine, I've had to cut a very thin bit off but I've made a mark here so that I know that that bit goes down onto that bit. And then you need some spare pieces of Whisper White. Um, you need a piece for the heart which will be about two by two inches which is five by five centimeters for the full butterfly which is the one underneath you need about um, two by two and a half inches which is five by six point five centimeters and then for the intricate butterfly you need a piece that's about one three quarter inches by two and a quarter inches which is four point five by six centimeters and then lastly the bow which is what I've used to make the antennae with you need a piece that's about one and a quarter inches by one and three quarters. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do my wedding wishes which I've heat embossed with white and then once I've done that I could bring my big shot in and do all my cutting. I'm not going to do these um, white embossed flowers um, but I'll explain a bit further on what I'm going to do about those. Right, so first of all the... Um, I didn't bring that paper over did I? I need a little bit of um, smoky slate to do the heart. So let me just grab a small piece. Uh, that should do nicely um, and I'll take my embossing buddy just make sure that's all free of static and greasy finger marks this is my stamp and it is from the floral phrases uh, stamp set which is this one here that I'm using so I'm going to use my Versamark and my white embossing powder okay so just ink that up with my Versamark Stamp it on here, don't press too hard and then as it's so small I'm just going to pop that into here, let the powder run over it like that. Yes that looks good, so let me put this away first before I get my heat gun out and that as well right this is only going to take a very very short while so excuse the noise just for a moment Now I'm going to bring the big shot up. 
Now one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is because in the new catalogue we have a new platform for the, uh, the Big Shot and I've been using it recently and it is really very good. I understand that if you buy a new Big Shot through Stamping Up Now this is the um, platform that you'll actually get with it. Okay, so this is a new platform. You also get this thin die adapter. Okay, now when you're doing um, the intricate dies, um, if you've done this before, you know that it's been difficult at times, and Stamping Up have been working really hard on finding a solution that really works and I think they've done it this time. So what we have, the new platform, the th thin die adapter, the precision base plate, and I'm going to do this piece first, and this is from our detailed floral thinlets. You get this piece and this, so you could do this onto a card like that and have one piece of cardstock and then you've got room for a sentiment there and obviously you could use it either way but you also get a third piece which is this which helps you cut the edge which is what I'm going to show you now one of the problems we've had previously is cutting the glimmer paper because on the back here it's got like a, a plastic coating to it, it's very thin um, but these dies have not been happy going through it and we were advised to die cut from this side which is all very well but it did meant that you got the flat side of your die on the front rather than, you know if you do a die this way your cuts are all nicely curved downwards slightly well, if you put that on that side, then you get the curved bits on the back and it's very flat and boring on the front. Um, but now I'm sure they have it sorted. So I'm going to put my um, glimmer paper down and then I'm going to put this down and I am going to line that up so that I have a very small edge around here, around here and around here. You may not be able to see that one from there because it's you're too far on top of it I think there you go so that is brilliant I'm going to do this just on its own um, rather than putting all the other bits on as well and then this piece you just line that up there and you will find it will give you a nice little edge let me show you the card you see, all this will be die cut, but then it will cut that edge for you as well. Now, we still can't do it so that with the glimmer paper, we can't just do it one crank through and then that is fine. Um, it does work like that with the cardstock, um, but this still needs going through more than once. I don't have any waxed sheets here and I don't have any um, dry sheets either. Right now it is a bit tough for it to go through but it will go through. Okay so that's one. I'm going to bring it back again okay so that's that one. I'm going to move this this piece comes off brilliantly. Okay, so that's that one done. And then on this one, it looks as if it's done, but because of that sheet of plastic, there will be areas, especially over the tiny little bits, that hasn't cut exactly. So what I'm doing, I'm putting it back down again, but I've turned it around, and I'm going to put it back through again twice. Okay, so that's one.
that's two. Right, before I try separating everything, I'm going to do all the other die cutting. Um, what else do I need here? Now, I think these two are the only ones I really need to come through on here because they're the uh, more intricate bits. Although the bow isn't terribly intricate, it's very narrow. So I, I think that area can be called, can be described as intricate. Um, am I doing these pieces all right? Will I have enough? Um, let me just measure what else I've got here. That will do that one. And that will do that. Will that do that one? Yep, that'll do that one. A bit tight. I wonder if it's better to put this one on there. Yes, I think that probably is. It might have been a better idea had I just marked the back to say which pieces should be cut with which. But never mind, I'm sure we'll be fine. So I'll put those two. And I'm just going to bring it back through to me. There we go. Oops. So there's that one and that one. Put those over there. Now I'm going to change to my magnetic platform because you don't need the precision base plate for these ones. Right, so we need that. Let's put a cutting mat down first, shall we? And of course it's a larger heart that we need. The white. Okay, so that's that one. And that one. We have done it back to front, haven't we? I'm sorry, that's a royal we. You and me. <laughs> Right, okay, so I think those two will fit on there nicely. These are the uh, kind of dies where the cutting edge is actually on the inside, so it doesn't matter if the outside bits come off. Um, so is that everything I need? I've done this, um, two butterflies, one heart. Yep, I think that's right. And then this one. And then just pop that on there to line that up. Move up a bit you. This is one of those dies that are just trying to dance around a bit. Right, that should be that. Oh, I didn't get my oh. You're not going to move, are you? No. Okay. Right, I think that's all okay. Let's go for it. Right, now they should just cut through on the one run through. So let me just show you that. Okay, so that's that one, and there's that one. All right, so that's glimmer paper going through just once, no problem. So let me just also tell you where I'm getting all my dies from as well. I haven't mentioned that, have I? And then I will show you how I'm getting all of these out. So first of all, um, the complete butterfly that comes from butterflies thinlets um, the hearts come from the layering hearts uh, oh no they don't call that do they it's sweet and sassy framelits and these are actually layering hearts 
um, and they've got two kinds. They've got what I call sweetheart hearts, which is the ones that have got this like fancy point at the bottom, and then they've got the regular shaped hearts, which are just like that. And for my card, I'm using the um, sweetheart, and the sizes I've used are number three and number two. And the bow, the last die, let me put all these together otherwise I'm going to find that I've lost bits afterwards. Um, the intricate bow, um, butterfly rather, that comes from this one which is bold butterfly framelits. And it looks as if I, oh I did yes. And then the, but, the um, bow actually comes from the mini treat bag thinlets. So if I can just move all of this out of the way. And then we'll find out whether this has worked or whether it's going to let me down. Right, I'm going to use my uh, Sizzix brush and I'll do the heart at uh, the I don't know why I keep calling this one a heart. The bow, I'll do that one first. Just turn it over. And that comes out beautifully. Let's put that on there. I put the die with the other ones. And then the butterfly. Roll over that. As you saw, that just popped off quite, quite easily. Okay. So that's come out really nice. There we go. Okay. Pop that there. Put the die over there. And then the big one. Now what I normally find with this is I normally find there might be one or two of these tiny pieces that might need to be encouraged out with my paper piercer. Which I have at the ready there. So let's see how we did. Okay, I'm not going rough with this. So let's have a look. Well, it's come away from here. Okay, and I've got three pieces left on my actual die, so that's that one. Oh no, did the other two fall out? They must have done. So that was just one piece left. And what I do is you will notice that there are two little flowers that come out of here. Um, yes, there it is, there's the other one. And I save those. That is going to be instead of doing these flowers here. The thing is because you only get two in each of these I've had to save other flowers from other ones I've done like this which is why I've had to use um, embossing on those ones. Right so if I pop those on there as well. Um, now how about that? Let me just empty that so that you can get a good view. Now that looks perfect to me, but I can see two pieces that need a little bit of help. So that's that one there and that one there. There we go. So that is all of the pieces out. Now how much easier is that? And I've got all these lovely, lovely curved cuts. My opinion of this new platform and the thin dies adapter is absolutely brilliant. I think it is worth every penny. Right, now I'm just going to put my card together. And I'm going to start off by using my uh, silicone mat because I want to put glue on the back here so that 
I can um, get that onto this piece. So Tombow. Right, let's get rid of that a little bit. I try and put Tombow, a little bit of Tombow, all the way round the edge, but then on the larger pieces in the middle. I mean, there's no way I'm going to do all of it. Um, but as long as I've got all of the edge piece, then I'm happy. The beauty of using the silicon sheet, if you go off the edges, which I'm doing quite a lot, um, it doesn't matter because it's going onto the silicon sheet and it's not going to get stuck. Okay, so I think that's probably about it. So I'll use my tweezers, pick this up and then pop it onto the top here. In fact, no, I'm not going to put it on there. I'll get all this surplus glue all over everywhere. Okay, so just line the bottom up and the sides. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Now the most difficult bit, as far as I'm concerned, is putting the ribbon around. And I'm using our one eighth of an inch stitched ribbon, and this is smoky slate. Yep, smoky slate. And I'm just going to put a piece around and tie it at the front. Let's just cut that piece off. What I'm going to do, rather than um, struggle on camera, if it doesn't work first time, then I will just adhere it to my card and then come back and finish it off later. Right, so left over right and keep them, no, the other way round. Uh, yes, left over right that way and hold that down and then fold that one in half, bring that one over wrap it around and then swap over your fingers to hold that knot in place and then bring that one through and then once it's through just pull tight. Now mine often finishes up a little bit on the loose side um, but what I do in that case I just make sure that I um, oops <laughs> look at that <laughs> oh dear how silly was that let's try that one again oh that's because I only folded didn't I you're supposed to tighten and not just, not just overlap them right let's try again so fold that one, now bring it over. Oh, come on. Right, now we swap over fingers, hold that down, bring that one through, and then tie it. Right, now what I was trying to say earlier is if this does finish up a little bit loose, which it obviously has done. I'm not going to fiddle about with it and worry. Um, as long as it's reasonable, which this is, I am then going to um, adhere my card together and then I will put a glue dot underneath the bow and that will keep it quite, quite still. Right, I've got one ribbon here that's twisted so that I'm, so I'm 
and twisting it. That's it, got that one. That one's nice and untwisted, non-twisted rather. And pull that tight. I think I might have just twisted that one again. Right, as I say, I'm going to leave that, fiddle about with it after I've finished the video. So I'm just going to pop that up there so it's out of the way and that one and I'll come back to that later. Right, I'm now going to adhere this to my card front with Tombow. of uh, Tombow onto the actual ribbon as well. So I'll just make sure we open up the right way, that's it. Right. Now let's just make sure I've got this straight. So that ribbon's coming to that line, which is one, two, three four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't look straight to me, but that says it is. Okay. Well, I'll go by my grid paper. It's normally my best friend at times like this. Now I'm going to do the butterfly. And when you're adhering anything to the glimmer paper, the best you can use is um, glue dots. Okay, so I'm just folding so that I've got a flat piece on the body like that and I have a flat piece on the body for that one. Now I want to put my antennae onto that one and then I'm going to put this one on top there. So what I do is with my bow I cut these two pieces off, that one and that one. And then I just bend that so it comes up and that one so it comes up. Okay, so I have them like this. I've got Tombow in my fingers. <laughs> right, that's better. Okay, so if I hold those together, then I have nice antennae. Let's put that over here so you can see. Now to hold those together, I'm going to need a glue dot. So if I put those together the way I want them, and then put them onto a glue dot, like that. I know the two antennae aren't absolutely identical in shape but I dare say that applies to real life as well. Okay. Now I'm going to put some more glue dots down here and I will pop the other butterfly on. I'd like to think that I could get three on here. There we go. And then pop that on there and line the two up. Okay, so that still opens up and that's still flexible. Now this one I'm going to adhere straight down onto my card. So let me bring over this one, show you what I'm doing. Oops, didn't mean to stick that down there. Right. Just put some top and bow down the back on that fold in the body that I made. Pop that 
there. Then I'm going to put the two hearts together and again start off with glue dots to get the, the actual hearts together and what happened there? I'll have to wait until I see the video to see what happened there. Um, anyway, this is to put the two hearts together and then I'll use dimensionals to get them onto the card front. Okay, now I'm just going to line this up and let me put that on here, it might look easier. Yep, definitely. What I'm doing is I'm going to line that dip with that dip and then that point with that point. Like that. Okay. Sticking a bit on the glue on there. Never mind. Right, let's have some dimensionals. I have one. I don't need that one. That's only half a dimensional. I have that one. And we'll have a third one. Now this I'm going to put at a slight angle. Like that. And these are my two stars. But let me bring my dark mat in again so that you can see this. Okay, I've got these upside down so that I can put some glue on them. And I have another three flowers here that I've saved from other die cuts that I've done. And now I'm just going to pop them around here. What I do is, because I've been playing with this a lot over the last few days, what I do is I keep all of my little daisies and I keep them into a little pot. The red ones are from the Ruby wedding anniversary card that I posted to my blog today. I don't know if you've seen that. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. You could use glue dots. Um, my only thoughts about that is um, you've got to be really quite precise or you've got to roll the glue dot up into a ball because I think if it's left in its normal size um, it's probably probably bigger than the back of the daisy. Um, where else do I want these? And then I'm going to finish off by putting um, pearls in the middle. Oh, this is getting really gunky. Excuse me a minute, let's try and get this to be free flowing. That's better. That's better. And that's better. Except I've got it on my fingers. Okay. That one may just be a fraction too much. So I'm just going to dab that onto my kitchen sheet, kitchen roll sheet. I'm going to put one of my flowers here. And I'm going to put one here. And the last one here. And I need my pearls. And for the body of the butterfly I'm going to use a strip of four pearls. And just pop that onto there. These have already got their own little glue dots on the back. So there shouldn't be a problem adhering them. And then I'm going to use these same size but just uncut 
and put one in the centre of all of the little daisies. This would look quite nice with um, our large letter dies on it with 25 because it's silver, isn't it? So it's silver. Oh no, it's wedding wishes rather, really, isn't it? Rather than um, anniversary. But just a thought. Anyway, there's a card that I showed you earlier. This is the one that needs to be finished off with the bow, but it will be done. Um, many thanks for watching my video today. Oh, no, one more to show you. This is the first one that I made and I've used um, normal white cardstock on here um, again with the flowers but with the flowers I've gone over them with um, Wink of Stella, the clear glitter pen so there you go, now you see what it's like if it's a plain one um, If you have any questions please contact me I'm always happy to help you If you've enjoyed my video please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. If you'd like to purchase any of the products that I featured here, please click on the 24-7 link that you'll find in the box below, which is hiding behind um, a little strip that says show more. If you press that, the box will appear. Um, and as always, I will put all the measurements and the products on the screen. If you don't see them because of the device that you're watching on, again, click in the box below and all the measurements and everything will be down there. Many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.